So for this tutorial, I'm going to be covering this cute little petal bin with a paper collage. I'm going to be cutting up loads of comic book pictures to do this, and I really hope that none of these are rare. You're going to need PVA glue, Mod Podge, some scissors, a bowl and paintbrush, and you might also need pens and stickers and paint and some washi tape. So the first step is to go through all your comic books and find all the pictures that you like. I really love this Wonder Woman costume in this issue. You're also going to need some full page pieces. Now make sure that you choose ones where you really like the picture but you don't mind them being covered up because they're going to form the background of the collage. So when you're cutting out the pieces, make sure you cut around them very, very carefully and making sure that you're not getting any of the background in them because these pieces are going to be overlaid onto the background. So as you can see, I cut out loads and loads of pieces. I probably cut out way more than I needed, but it's much better to have more than you need than to run out. If you didn't want to use comic books, you could also use uh, anything else really. You could use newspapers, you could use just plain books, um, but make sure that you've read them already <laughs> and that you don't mind cutting them up. You could also use magazines of celebrities, movie stars, or any kind of children's books. Um, yeah, just make sure that you, uh, you don't mind cutting them up. So grab the PVA and pour out a load into the bowl and grab your paintbrush. So one thing I didn't show in this video is the preparation that I did with this bin. There's some rust in the bottom right hand corner so what I did was grabbed a small metal brush and I just scrubbed it so that I could remove all the flaky paint and all the rough edges. You're going to be covering the bin first with these full page pieces. You could also, if you wanted to, you could cover this with white paper first. You could just glue it down with uh, PVA glue or you could just cover it with white paint. That's so that the uh, pattern doesn't show through. For me, I didn't really need to do this, but it's a step that you could take, especially if the item that you're covering is either really dark or has already got a really bright pattern on it. When you're gluing down the background pieces, make sure that you get all the edges and make sure that they're really glued down firmly. It doesn't matter if you go over the top of the pieces with the PVA because it does dry clear. this top piece I'm not really worrying about how messy or neat the edge is because I'm going to be covering that up with washi tape but if you didn't want to use tape to round the edges just make sure you keep it clear make sure that you wash your brushes very well while it's still wet so this is the only washi tape that I've got but I think the black and white works really well with the bright colored comic book pages If you're using washi tape, especially if you've got a round edge, you might want to cut some around the corners so that you don't get bumps like that. So I'm putting the washi tape around the top of the bin as well, and I'm using about two or three layers. It depends how much shows through. You can see that the white is actually quite see-through on this piece of washi tape, but you might have one that's not see-through. The next step is just to arrange all the pieces that you want to stick on and just start gluing. So when you're sticking them down you need to be careful that you press out all the wrinkles because as you can see this paper is kind of like magazine paper 
and it wrinkles quite a lot when it gets wet. So just make sure that you press it all down firmly and just take care that it's flat before you move on. You might find it easier to lay out all your pieces first before you glue them on so that you know where they're all going. For me, I just stuck them on randomly wherever I felt like they fit. And don't worry about how much PVA you're putting on the background layer because it does dry clear. When you're gluing this down, you need to take care not to press too hard on the background layer because if you didn't allow enough drying time, then it could rip the background layers. While you're doing this, you might want to also draw on it. You could use pens or you could use paint or you could even put stickers on there. This is the part where you can be as creative as you want. So to finish off the bottom I'm using more washi tape and I'm going to be doing three layers on the bottom here. So once you've finished sticking everything down you're ready to seal it. So I'm using a gloss Mod Podge but I'm also using a sparkle one. I tested it out on this page in the comic book but I think the sparkle was just a little bit too much so I'm going to water it down a little bit with the plain gloss Mod Podge. If you don't have Mod Podge you don't have to use it, you could just use PVA. So when you're ready just apply the Mod Podge all over the piece. You can put it on top of the washi tape as well and don't worry yes it does dry clear. When you're putting it on, do make sure that you keep your brush strokes quite even and all in the one direction because you might see them once the Mod Podge has dried. You'll probably want to leave at least half an hour drying time in between but preferably a few hours would be best because you're building up a lot of layers on this. Before I finished the last layer of Mod Podge I decided to do a white outline around some of the pieces that I stuck on. I just feel that this really made them stand out a lot more from the background. Now like I said before you could use stickers, pens, pencils, paint and you can do any kind of decoration you like but you do want to make sure that you finish all your PVA sticking before you put the Mod Podge on there because the PVA just won't go on top of the Mod Podge very well. So that's it, once it's dry, you're finished. So thanks very much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know if you decide to make something yourself and if you've made a video I'd love to see it, so please link it below in the comments. So if you'd like to see more of these, give it a thumbs up and let me know and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.